morning and today I have a craft to do so we are gonna do this craft I did I think it was last year I did a globe um, I got a Dollar Tree and the problem was that the top was messing this little piece right here this plastic piece was messing and so it ended up leaking because that piece is really important if you don't have this piece it will leak everywhere trust me I know so and I, ha I think I got the directions or I didn't get the directions for it too so I finally went back to Dollar Tree and I found one that has it so I wanted to do another globe to make it right and um, so I got a couple little things too I got these two little things it's two lights and a bench and then I have some Christmas trees now I'm not going to use all of them of course I'm just going to use a couple maybe it depends on the size of it and I also got some glitter here I'm going to use gold this time the last time I think I used um, a package of uh, there were like white snowflakes silver kind of and the problem was I think they were really heavy it were made for this but um, and I got a Dollar Tree too but I they were really heavy and they just they didn't do what I wanted to do so hopefully maybe this might work a little bit better so we're gonna try it anyways what the heck right so um yeah so stay tuned and i'm going to get my stuff together here and we'll get it going be right back okay guys so i took the lid off i'm trying to get the plastic thing out i'm going to pry it with a butter knife see if i can get it out it should just pop right off but i don't you know Uh, yeah right I don't want to put a hole in it either because you know you put a hole in it and then it's going to leak and we're going to be in the same mess we were last time so I think I ended up throwing that out because all it did was leak I kept it for a little bit but, um, it just leaked I couldn't keep it after Christmas was over so I just thought I'd try to do it. Yeah, I get the plastic thing. Now I can't get it out. Yeah, okay. I'll be back when I get this thing out. Be right back. Hey, everyone. Okay, so what I've been trying to edit this, um, this project, and I found that there was a clip missing. So I wanted to explain some things that wasn't said. That was said, but... I lost it from the SD card so um, what you want to do I did have these little things I think you might have seen them you, you saw them in the globe anyways um, I got this at Dollar Tree for $1.25 okay and I had the little trees same price and then I um, the glitter that I had already had so what you got to do that little plastic piece that's inside this globe I can't take this off because I glued it now but um, the one that I show you in the clip before, it, sh it um, you take it out and then you put your little ornaments on there and you glue them. Now I use the gorilla, the gorilla, the gorilla glue. Can't speak, and um, I use that. Now you have to wait 24 hours to let it dry. But before you do that, you got to put the sandpaper on it and you got to rub it down. So um, just enough to to um, you know make it rough. And, and get that glossy look gone so I wanted to make sure that it was said because if you don't do this and you don't glue these on there it ain't gonna work so that was my thing so anyways I'm sorry about the SD card um, yeah so at least I only lost one clip on this one and uh, my other video that I did that's already up um, I lost the whole thing so yeah which I explained in that video so anyways so I have um, Che Bear gave me another SD card so I'm not going to use that SD card anymore so um, yeah we're gonna have to order some so that's what we've talked about last night is ordering some more SD cards anyways that's what I wanted to explain so um, yeah so yeah continue watching so 
now this is an exit A and we let it dry. It's it's thickened really good. So <coughs> excuse me. Okay. So now what are we gonna do? We have the glue on there, we let it um do for 24 hours. Fill the globe container with water or baby oil, but have enough room to put the scene inside without overflowing. So it doesn't tell you how much water to put in here. So I guess I put it maybe here to this rim. Maybe underneath it. I don't want to have it though because when you turn it over, if you don't have enough water in it, it's going to bubble up here. And you're going to have this space up here. And that's not going to be no good. So I think I will try here because then when you put this in, it's going to push it. Yeah. It'll push the water. And this has to go in, kind of. You snap it in, so it has to go in. So, Okay, so I'm going to fill this up with water. And I'm going to be back. Water in. I got it right underneath the rim here. Um, hopefully that's not going to push any water out. I hope not. But if it does, it does. Whatever. So, kind of got to do everything with two hands. One hand. Half a hand. So. Yeah. I wonder if I could get a cup. Let me get a cup and I can sit this in. So I put it in a cup so then I can sit it on here so you guys can see better too. Shea Bear is working outside. He's got a friend over that um, that needed his back brakes done. So he's working on his truck today. So that's what you're hearing is the compressor on and off. All right, so we're going to put the sparkles in here. And that wasn't a whole lot. I mean, I don't want to put a bunch in there, but because last time I think I put a little bit too much in. I'll add a little bit more in there. And that should be enough. Because if you, I think this settle. And we'll put a little bit more flakes in there. Yeah. Oh, and now I got it all over the counter. I'm going to sparkle all day. <laughs> so. All right. Woo. All right. So what it what you do now? They want you to put glue around here because it they want you to seal it so it won't leak. So I'm gonna get my glue that I used to put these on. I think that would be better than hot glue. And um, it's right here. So let me get this and. We'll uh, put the glue on there. This is waterproof glue, so um, it's a little pricey, but uh, it's well worth it. It's, you know, I think this is the best stuff. And, um, yeah, so you can use it on stuff like this. Except the dang thing is old, so I've had it a while. So I'm just taking it out, so I'm just using a stick that I had yesterday here and I'm just gonna put it up there and I'm gonna put around the rim and just do it like that now they say you can use a hot glue glue gun but I just Someone was detected at your don't door. think the hot glue gun is good enough you know I think this would help a lot better and uh, so yeah I'm going to put this on and do my thing here. This glue is like really bad. It cracked on me. It, I don't know how I got a hole in it, but it did. So it's kind of icky. But it still works. It's working good. So I'm just going to use it because this stuff is expensive. Not cheap. <clears throat> 
That three, what do they call that, 600 stuff that you buy at Dollar Tree, I don't like it. I don't know why people like it so much. I don't think it works very well. You know, it's cheap, cheap glue. Everybody swears by it, but nah. I, I don't like it. So I'd rather spend my money on something that I know that's going to work and not fall apart. So, just trying to make sure I don't get the glue inside. So. And we just drew the whole rim here. Hopefully I didn't put too many sparkles in there. Last time I think I had bought the little baggies and I think I poured the whole bag in there. Pretty much. And it was way too much. So you just want a little bit in there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to push this inside, center it where I want it. I already tested this with the water to make sure it's not going to pour all the way out. And just going to push it in. So, so, and there you go. Push it down real good. Make sure. Yeah, I got a little bit of water coming out, but not very much. So... I did it right. So I would do it at the rim there. That's about as close as you're going to get or it will overflow when you put that in there. Okay, so now you can put um, hot glue on there and um, and then put the lid on. It's just to make sure that it just the water don't come out, you know. So Trying to dry it a little bit because it got a little wet. But this glue is waterproof, so it's okay. So now I'm going to to get the hot glue gun and I'm going to warm it up. And I'll put I'm going to put it up here along the edge again just to double seal it to make sure it's good. And I'll be back. Okay, guys. So we're back now, and um, I got my hot glue gun going on here. So I'm just going to go around the rim here with the hot glue, and um, I think it's ready. It should be ready. Yeah, yeah it's coming slowly. So I'm just going to go around here and do my rim. Just to give you a double thing so it's not going to leak on their table or wherever you have it. I think this would be a great idea for Christmas gifts. You know, you can, you can help your kids make these, you know, and it really doesn't cost a whole lot, you know, for Christmas. And they could give them to Grandma and Grandpa. Well, Grandmas love stuff like this, you know. And, um, yeah. So, I think it would be a fun thing to do you just have to supervise if you have young ones you know and um, maybe help them but if you have teenagers or something like that they want to do something like this you know they don't have a lot of money and um, yeah be a great idea yep and then it's always something that you know you remember you know so I'm just gonna let this get hard and uh, Let's sit here for a minute. It's already hard, really. It's already hard. So, I think it's good enough. Yeah. Good. And then what you're going to do is you're going to just twist your cap on. Now, I might have to scrape some of this off. I might have made it too thick. Yeah, to just take some of it off where it's thick at. And, uh, because you don't want it real thick. You don't need it thick. Yeah, so this cap can go on. And you're just going to twist this cap on. Okay, let me get the cap on and I'll be back. 
Okay guys, so I got the cap on. You just got to make the glue not so thick. It's got to be very thin if you're going to use a hot glue gun on it or you can't get the cap on it. So I had to take a little bit off of it, but it's no big deal. And then you can flip it over and there's your globe. Let's shake it up. It made the chair gold. <laughs> oh my god. It made the chair gold. There you go. Oh well. <laughs> I did. That's all right. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. See it? <laughs> made the chair gold. It made everything gold. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> that's funny. You can use the red stuff. You can use whatever you want. And it flake. You can really just put dye in there, right? A little bit of dye in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You could do it that way, too. Yeah, I might have put a little bit too much. You really got to be very, very little, I think. You don't put as much in there as you think. I don't think... I didn't put as much in it as last time, though. But, yeah, there you go. It's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, everything's gold on it. So... And it's not leaking either, like my other one did. <laughs> yep, there you go. Cool, huh? I don't have my thing, so see. Hmm. So, anyways, that's that's what you do. That's cute. It'd be a great gift, but I I put a little. Just don't put that much glitter in there because it's not moving around. It kind of clumped up too with the water. I don't know why. There it goes. Yeah, you're having a, a bad glittering day. <laughs> uh, that's pretty though. Probably look nice at night time. And I, I had lights around my other one. Um, LED lights I put around around, around it. Um, just sat it on a table and, and left it. So it probably looked nice at night. Yeah. Oh, pretty cool. Anyways, there you go guys. That concludes that one. Just make sure you get that cap inside. Very important. I did not know the first time I made this. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, And I wanted to use a different glitter this time. This is just glitter. Um, the other stuff it was some kind of like uh, white snowflakes or something. That I got a dollar tree too. So this stuff I just bought in the tube. And just like this, I had it already. I had red, too. I was going to maybe do red, but my mother liked the gold, so I did the gold for her. There you go. So, there you go. Anyways, I hope you have a good rest of the week. And, um, yeah, stay tuned. There will be many, many more videos coming up. So, we'll see you in the next one. Bye, y'all. Thank you.